What's up? This is H News here. So I'm here because I haven't uploaded for a while. This is a reason I actually caught a sinus infection or bronchitis or ammonia. And um, it was during the weather change where it was like 40, 60, close to 70, 50 degrees, 60 up and down. And um, I did ha try some dairy free ice cream. Apparently, it that and the weather changed the rapid uh, cold fronts and warm fronts. Uh, like most people around here, they're already sick with this crouping. And uh, I went to the doctor for urgent care um, Tuesday evening. There was crouping and then there was cracking, you know, with the lungs. And it's like, yeah, coughing, you know, it's like it's really, you know, it's one of those infections where it could be bronchitis or it could be ammonia. Um, I was pretty much having a lung infection. Um, no nasal infection, no no runny nose, just coughing and not able to breathe barely Tuesday and having to wear, I actually had to wear a mask prior to that day, a few days before because my, my lungs weren't strong enough to actually uh, breathe in the air or even in here. I was coughing a lot and they actually put me on a CPAC to control for an antibody for the five days and then they put me on Premzone for like two pills in the morning for five days to actually combat this issue. Um, this is a reoccurring sinus. It's always has been like this all my life with the weather changes and then how certain noise with this weather. And then um, I went today to my doctor for my uh, autism and all that for the disability so I can get actually get all my uh, sertraline and all my antidepressant medicines and uh, disability medicines as well, like anger management and all that. Um, we talked to him about the uh, back pain since November and um, he checked my back, checked the back of myself and on my back basically and there was incorrect uh, vertebrae uh, on the right side I believe or so. And he actually had me, you know, stand still, you know, in the, in the seat, you know, where they all put you at, you know, when you're sick or you're injured, kind of. And he hold my, you know, my race and he said, move left. Of course I did. And he had to readjust to get that part in there. And he did again, just to double check. And then he had me get down, you know, my stomach upward and checking every joint and bone to make sure everything was aligned. And he did have to modify the right foot right leg because apparently it was part of that too and um, as I heard and we were discussing about sinus having all this uh, diarrhea with my stomach and then just, you know that's how it's been lately for since December or more and it's kind of like this every now and then but um, I got a ban on a dairy product for probably the rest of my life and if that doesn't improve in three or four weeks I got to start on a gluten-free diet, for real. If my um, stomach trouble doesn't go away, if nothing improves while eating gluten food, then gluten-free is going to have to happen in my life, and that will totally suck. I know it already sucks having to give up pizza because of the um, drainage with the milk and then having an allergy to the ass. And it says possibility, even if I outgrew it, it can still affect me in the future up to this point where it's at its worst stage and um, in a few years I'm going to have to have a colonoscopy for my you know, for cancer and um, because my aunt had had two aunts with it and in order if you if they had since they had around 40 they had to subtract 10 years which would mean 30 years of age which I'm almost 29 and hopefully by then we're kind of concerned it's going to have to be done at Barnes. I'm going to probably have to do the stomach and all that. It's going to be a bar off sea of looking into my stomach for polyps and then that too. And then there are my aunts, my aunts actually tested positive for a lot of stomach disorders. So there's a mix of ear roll bowel and a lot of the families for like 99% of the families have like this ear roll bowel, you know, stomach issue that is, you know, not good where your stomach where my stomach, like the, most of their time, their stomach would be working fine the next for one week and then, you know, having digestive trouble and then having all this diarrhea and uh, not feeling good at all. And part of the family had uh, low toss and tolerance where they couldn't have dairy products. 
Um, I don't think that's me. Because I don't, I get pain every now and then, maybe for some of that, but I don't think I get it from that, really. Um, yes, a lot of things take into effect. We just wanted to see, and, um, yeah, I'm recovering. I took medicine this morning, and <clears throat> no lab work, but basically I had to, you know, watch it, you know. And uh, plus, my microwave uh, is finally dying after one use, after like one or two years of use, consistently using it. So that's the only thing I'm trained to do. Uh, since I got uh, since I got hemophilia, and then there's a gas oven, you don't want to do that. That's off limits for me. You know, guess it's a fire hazard. It's got gas in it, basically. And uh, microwave is the only thing I can use right now. Well, the thing is, having having, having that trouble where it goes loud and up. The the loud the thing of you know you know powers up a microwave because that kind of buzzing it goes up higher and then lower and then lights kind of do it too and I actually tested it about four hours ago or three hours ago and uh, this for about maybe a couple minutes and I start smelling some you know some you know smelling like you know like a burnt kind of and one side of it it's got some burnt rust which is not a good thing and uh, microwave is apparently definitely going out. And we need to replace it as well, on top of the rest of the house that needs to be fixed. So uh, I'm going to have to eat out for a while, stay on a dairy-free diet, no ice cream, no no mashed potatoes, nothing like that that has dairy in it, basically, because that does it, apparently, and we can't have that. So it usually gets so bad it gets in my lungs. It just makes me sick like I have sinus, but it's far worse. If it gets infected, of course, so. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was coughing a lot better a couple of days ago, and Saturday I did not even feel good. Luckily, I was able to take my medicine 30 minutes prior to actually getting to work, you know, starting, because I just couldn't eat nothing. It was just that phlegm and that overload. I got more phlegm in my mom's father in his whole entire life at a worse level than his than he ever had. I'm pretty, pretty much the king of the hill with drainage in my mom's family, so I'm the worst one that's even more more worse than my mom's fire, so surprising, and it just finally got worse where I can't eat these foods. Even drainage where I get nausea every now and then, so top drops are for that. It's annoying having to change a real good diet. That means no Taco Bell. No, you know, I just have to watch it to see if they put any of the mess over. I'm going to have to have them fix it, of course, because I can't have any more cheese, as as we know right now. I have been telling you guys. It's sad news to our part, but in the long run, <coughs> it'd be better. And I did buy butter that wasn't dairy-based. That's olive oil-based, and it's gluten-free, so it's already, I didn't even notice it. And I walked out of the store, I looked at it, and it's got gluten-free on it as well. So it, apparently it's all raw and gluten-free as well, so it's good. It's butter, so I'll see how it tastes, like 3 or $4. I bought some bread, gluten-free bread, almost 5 bucks for a thing. And uh, I was trying to cook a gluten-free as put spaghetti yesterday. And I cooked it too much, and that might be, that might be why some of the microwave's messing up. But for cooking... But spaghetti for a year in that thing for 20 or so minutes probably has taken a toll on its power supply on it as well as how it runs and it's, it needs to be tossed and trashed because they don't last and this one only lasted I got it I think it was two years ago it was like 2018 it was my birthday month that so we actually I remember it for sure being in the house of course I lived at my parents house in the meantime and they actually had a microwave over here somewhere to, you know, unwrap it. I did unwrap it with the rest of the family. It was a microwave as it is and tiny one, not really expensive, like $80, 90 And um, it's done. That's on its last leg. It's probably not safe to use. So if I need to make toast, it's going to be the toaster for sure. So at least the thing I can do is I got one of those. So I always make waffles. I mean, I mean, cook waffles in the toaster as um, long as there's not any kind of dairy, you know, thing, you know. My, my, some of those uh, toaster uh, things, you know, where they have that, 
with the you know the flavors. There are now some with cream, so I gotta watch on on watch for that too now because that's the worst scenario that I can't have to eat or drink basically. Because a lot of them now have dairy now. Everything's pretty much dairy. <laughs> um, it's annoying. Red never gave me that trouble for sure. It's just pure milk, like dairy or drinking milk or cheese, you know, that really does it the most. And uh, that's where it really affects me. And eating, eating ice cream as well will do it. Uh, even the coffee with the creamer in it will do it. Um, there's a lot of things I can't have with dairy right now at the moment. And um, it's probably permanent as well. I guess there's no way to reverse it. Just how my body is, and I wish there was a way to fix this, but there isn't. So, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below because they would really help me a lot. So, thanks for watching. And I do feel a little better about getting awards finally, but it'll take a while. This the antibody will last another five days after it's being all taken. After I'm done with it, it'll last another five days. So, don't worry. We even double we even double check with my doctor, and it's it's perfectly good.